Hello everyone, after a long holiday I return with a new video. I recently got this Windows 8 tablet with a broken touchscreen. The tablet is functional but because of the broken touchscreen it, it can't be used, not even with a mouse and keyboard attached to its micro USB port. So what I want to do with this tablet, I want to turn it into a mobile gaming console similar to, uh, similar to the Steam Deck console. For this, I will use a touchpad from an Asus laptop with, uh, with a USB hub and an Arduino Micro. That will be the controller for the mouse touchpad. So basically the controller will be over the controller with the touchpad will be on this side. On this side it will be the USB host which will mul multiply the USB port into four ports. And um, also here we will have a, a, a D-pad similar to a Nintendo DS Lite D-pad and two trigger buttons that will act as the left click and the right click. So let's start first by removing the broken touchscreen and do some measurements for the case that we will do. So now after removing the broken touchscreen and every piece of glass, it's now time to disassemble the Asus laptop in order to retrieve the touchpad. With the touchpad removed, I will now move to take some measurements in order to make a sketch for the 3D design of the case in FreeCAD. By the way it looks right now, it seems I will not be able to 3D print the entire case in one go because the size of my 3D printer is maximum 20 cm by 20 so I will have to split the design in two. There will be the right side which will feature the touchpad and four buttons and there will be the left side which will feature the, the USB hub and uh, the D-pad as well as the right click and the left click on this side.
while those two models are being printed let's now do some wiring and uh, testing of the touchpad with Arduino for that I'm going to use this wire that some of you asked me in the comments what kind of wire is this so it's a wire that I got from a coil from an old power adapter this wire is painted so in order to be able to solder it and use it you need to scrap off the paint where you need to solder it it is very small so it's very good for places where you don't have a lot of space so I'm going to solder uh, this is the plus this is the minus and here we have the two data pins
With the soldering completed, let's now try to upload the program into the board and see if it's working. So for this I'm going to use the same code that I used when I programmed this touchpad. However, in this case I will use a USB mouse because I don't want to reprogram my touchpad by mistake. So I want to make sure this is turned off now. Okay, so I'm going to hit upload. I don't know if you can see. Go from here. Okay, make sure the board is set correctly. Okay, so upload. We should see it's uploading. Okay, upload complete. Now, for some reason, uh, sometimes it will not work from the first try. So let's disconnect the USB and connect it back. And the and it seems to be working. Yeah, it's working just fine. Now I modified the program in order to include all of the arrow keys and the four buttons and the right click, left click, the trigger buttons. As you can see the code is quite long since I have to define every single digital output and uh, also i had to write the instruction for each button what it will do when it will be pressed basically press of a button so now all we have left to do is just wire some buttons and put in the put it inside a case also the 3d printer has finished printing of the of the two parts right here and let's see how well it will fit on the tablet itself one thing that i noticed i printed them uh, like in the vertical position because it was the only feasible way to print them and I noticed that they don't have so much resistance here. As you can see, it's already broken because of the because of the way it was printed. But it doesn't matter. It's okay. We will fix it. With uh, we will we will fix it after. Okay. So now let's prepare the USB hub and let's make some wiring. And here I will solder a USB Type-C for charging.
let's solder the right side. I noticed when I made the buttons, I forgot a very important button to map, and that is the escape key. So I changed the program a little bit and I set the escape key to be on pin number 16 on the Arduino.
Okay, so now let's test the buttons. The trackpad seems to be working fine. For this we'll go to keyboardtest.com. Okay, so let's start with the D-pad. Up button seems to be fine. Down, left, right. Yeah, all good. This one's backspace. Enter and control. The escape button is hidden here, but it can be pressed like this. And as you can see, it's working just fine. Okay, so now let's hide this wire. Uh, maybe 3D print a frame to hide this ugly part. Uh, the d-pad and the button covers and test with a game okay so with the button printed and also the frame let's try to use it now it feels quite good in the hand so let's see if it can run counter-strike i plugged in an sd card as you can see the trigger button is working left click and right click these two so this is the left click this one's the right click uh, let's see counter strike here Let's try online game. Let's try to find a server to play with other users. Let's see how this will go up against them. You can see the D-pad was just fine aiming. So we'll wait for them to finish the match. And I always thought that a D-pad is much more accurate than a, than a joystick. Well, unfortunately, I didn't set the buttons correctly. So uh, this one should be fire. Wait a second. Let's fix that keyboard and uh, combat. So this one will be mouse two and special function will be mouse one. Okay, apply, okay. Ah, uh, I don't really like this map, but anyway. Stick 
Ah, well, it's definitely playable, but I'm not very good at Counter-Strike anyway. So let's try to see how well it can run an NES emulator. Let's try to open Super Mario. Oh, there it was. Let's configure the buttons. Uh, uh, let's say start should be. I don't know. Uh, I can't use the trigger, so I'll use instead this one, maybe. Okay, this shall be D. This shall be A. Okay. Hmm. So definitely it's working just fine, it's a great tablet for emulating old games and uh, also for playing PC games I think up to the year 2005 maybe, something like that. Because the CPU is not the best, it runs Windows 8, uh, I think it can run Windows 10 or Windows 11 but it just doesn't have enough internal memory for that. So, yeah, as you can see, I, all, I only have 1.9 gigabyte of free space on C. So, yeah, definitely it's, uh, it's good for emulating games on the SD card on, or on an external USB drive. Well, thank you for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Thank you.